let's go out to Houston and talk to Kayla. You got me on my knees, Kayla. I know it's Layla. What's up, Kayla? Um, it's good. How are you? Good. <laughs> good. What's going on? So, um, I really hate being a mom and I'm having a really hard time with like motherhood in general. Okay. And I'm just worried about like, um, my marriage and then like the relationship I'm going to have with my daughter Okay. because I just, it's just really hard. Yeah. Hate's a really heavy word. Tell me about that. I mean, there's like nothing wrong with her. She's slept well. She smiles all the time. I just, I mean, it's just every day it's the same song and dance. And I like, I really want to like it. I, I sit there and I see like how happy my husband is and how much she just loves it. And I just, I just, I just can't even bring myself to even just like it. I don't know why I, and I feel terrible because I know my husband deserves someone who wants to be there. And my daughter deserves someone who loves her. And I love my daughter, but not in the same way that my husband loves her. Can I tell you, I don't know if I fully believe that. Why do you think your daughter deserves a better mom than you? I just don't feel like I'm good enough, man. That's I mean, it. like You're sick of feeling this way. Why don't you think you're good enough? It's just so hard. Yeah. It's the, it's the worst. It's the worst. It's the worst. It makes you just want to curse Pinterest, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and all the mommy guilt blogs that are out there. People building accent walls with their kids and their little slings and making their sourdough bread. Like, why do you think you're so bad at this? I just see like how other people, um, I don't give a crap about other people. What about you? I, I don't know. I just, I just, I'm not, I mean, I remember before I had my daughter, I just remember, um, just knowing I didn't want kids. I, I just knew like my limitations and I just knew like, because how I grew up was it's just like rough. I mean, like, you know, it's not the perfect life, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And um, I just remember just being like, I don't, I don't want to have a kid because I just don't want her to, I don't want her to be like me. I don't want her to, you know, grow up the same way as me. And I'm, I'm trying really hard to change the things that my my family, how they raised me and stuff. And it's just been like really hard. I know. Cause you're trying to make changes out of hatred. You're trying to do different things. Cause you hate the way you feel. And you're trying to do things different because you hate the way you grew up. And that always feels like you're pulling a sled uphill on ice. Instead of, Oh my gosh, dude, I get to build, I get to decide what this life looks like and I'm worth more than this. And so I'm going to make it amazing. That's sustainable. It's like going to the gym and working out because you hate your body. You're trying to punish yourself for looking crappy versus, dude, I'm going to go to the gym because I'm worth an hour and I want to feel amazing. One of those is going to end and one of those is going to keep going for forever. But it sounds like you didn't want to have a kid because you knew how you felt all those years. Yeah, I know. I mean, how do I just cope with it then? I you feel don't like cope. I, you build something amazing. How? That's what I'm asking you. What do you want your home to look like? What do you want it to feel like? Let me say it that way. What do you want it to feel like? Like love. Okay, what does that even mean? I just, you know, you come home and, you know, there's like, you just feel loved and like. Nope. Break like it down for me. Be very specific. What does love look like? Because here's why. You're going to keep chasing a feeling and that feeling is never going to get there. 
Because your body doesn't even know what that feels like. I mean, I guess just like everyone, I'm be yeah, and be happy is even vague itself. I don't. I just want to come home, and I just want to know that everything's okay. okay. I guess. Is your husband trustworthy? Yeah, he is. Is your baby healthy? Um, yeah. Are y'all broke? Are you okay financially? Yeah, we're fine financially. We do the Dave Ramsey okay. and everything. Are you? Do you have uh, stable work? Well, I'm not working. I'm a stay-at-home mom for right now because okay. you know. All right. No, because you know. No, that's a choice y'all made. Are you lonely yeah. as all get out? I don't feel lonely. I have my sister comes over all the time. Um, no. Do you have a group of girlfriends? You put the kid and hand the kid to somebody else and you get away for a minute? No, I don't do that. It's just really, uh, I feel guilty if I do that. Okay. You're, I feel like you're dying right now. Choose guilt over resentment because you're starting to resent your kid. You're starting to resent your husband. You're starting to resent your home. You're resenting your life. Choose guilt. Okay. That's fair. Because I think underneath all of this, you don't like the life that has, I would say that you've created, but I don't think it was ever intentional. I think it just kept kind of happening. And when you have a kid, everything gets super real because that kid wakes up at the same time no matter how late you stayed up. And that kid needs to mm -hmm. eat no matter what. And that kid, God, they don't stop pooping. Yeah. Right? And then you start having fantasies of remember when. Yeah, that's every day for me. <laughs> right? Remember we had money? Remember we could just have sex all the time? Remember when we just went out? I miss those days, man. I, <laughs> and it's okay to miss them. But the the assumption here is, is that that was somehow better than what you can choose to build right now. So it's essentially like changing your mindset then. No, you got to, I don't, I mean, yes, there will be some of that, but you're, you can't just do that in a vacuum. You can't just sit on the couch and just be like, change mindset. Sucky thing is now awesome. And that's what, that's what Instagram tells you to do. Just change your mindset. No, you got to do differently. Cause I don't think you hate your daughter. I don't even think you hate being a mom. I think you hate being a mom in the world where you have found yourself. And quite possibly you hate the routine. Quite possibly yeah. you hate feeling like your husband's doing a better job of this than you are. Quite possibly your body is beginning to awaken little GPS pins it put in you a long time ago that said, this isn't safe. This is not safe. And your body is recognizing that little girl and it's like, here we go. She's going to be in the same crap you are. And that just gets so exhausting. I agree. Is that fair? Yeah. Have you fully accepted having a baby yet? How old is this baby? She's one. Okay. Have you fully accepted I'm in? Like you, you I'm, like this is a strange thing to say, but you can't, there's nowhere to go. You're a mom. Yeah, I know. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I, you know, and I feel guilty for even saying this, but it's just like, there are days where I just really want to walk away. Of course. And I feel terrible. That makes I you normal. Terrible. That makes you normal. I've been snowed in at my house. I don't know anybody who's got a better marriage than I do. I don't know anybody who's got better kids than me. I love my kids. They're a riot. And we've been snowed in for the last like four days. I was super hyped to leave the house today, right? I was really happy to, to, to drive a normally a 30 minute drive. It took me over an hour and like 15 minutes. I loved that drive. Trying to not die on icy roads, right? Just to get out of the house for a bit. That doesn't make me a terrible dad. It makes me a human. Somebody has, you've got, I will say this, you got to stop with a comparison game. 
You, because what you're doing, it's almost pornographic. You've got these fantasies about what this thing is supposed to look like and feel like, and it's not real. Moms are allowed to just want to scream and go running out into the street. (laughs) Moms are allowed to leave the house and go hang out with their girlfriends. In fact, they have to do that or they'll go mad. Moms yeah. are allowed to go back to work even part-time to go have adult interaction. Moms are allowed to not have to sit there and listen to their sister, who is my best friend, just sit there and repeat the whole childhood crap that we both grew up with. Yeah. Moms are allowed to be annoyed that dad just seems to be doing this thing perfectly. All those things are human. What's more important than those feelings is what am I going to do next? And have me and my husband sat down and said, all right, the marriage we had is over. Let's be sad for a second. It's going to be a long time before I jump up on our kitchen table when nobody's here and take my shirt off, husband. Those <laughs> days are over now. <laughs> At least for the time being. Yeah. They'll come back soon, but just for this season, we got to build a new marriage. What do we want it to look like? And that's the magic thing. The, the, the nerd word in our counseling world is called agency. And your body is slowly dragging you to the back seat of your life in a sucky life. And that's the one you got thrown into when you were a kid. And I want you to take agency. You are driving. What do we want this thing to look like? What has to be true in my home so that I can enjoy this extraordinary adventure I'm on called motherhood? And when some mom is like, oh my gosh, I love every second of it. You could say, A, go set yourself on fire. That's fine. (laughs) And B, good for you. That's not me. That's not me. Okay? Okay. Is that fair? Here's your homework assignment. Your homework assignment is this. Your feelings are reminding you of the way things used to be. And they're working. They're doing great. Guilt is reminding you of things that happened when you were a kid and you were not going to repeat them. Neither of those things are telling you the truth. Okay? Yeah. So when you feel a certain way, you feel like I hate all of this. I feel like I want to go running into the street. I want you to take your hand and I want you to place it right in your chest. And I want you to exhale really big and say, thank you, body, for trying to take care of me. That makes sense. And then we're going to go do the next right thing. And the only way you can have a next right thing is if you and your husband get together by yourself without baby and you tell him all the things you've told me. We've stumbled into a world that I don't love. And I want to create a new marriage now where we still have crazy adventurous sex and we still have this, but we just have to do it at 830 because I'm tired, right? Or I can't have another human pawing at my body right now. And I know that's awful and sad. Here's some things we can do for intimacy. I know you're going to be dying over there. And I want, you're not going to, I'm not gonna let you die. Here's what that might look like for us in this particular season, by the way, season three months, season six months, season's not four years. Yeah. Okay. But all of this is going to lean back towards you've got agency. You get to decide what happens in this next season. I'll also strongly suggest two things. Number one, please, 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 please get with a mom's postpartum group in your area. Okay? I don't have postpartum. There's a heaviness. And it's good to be around other moms and you don't feel crazy. And you don't feel like you're the only one. And you don't feel like you're the worst mom who's ever existed. And I hate this because my daughter deserves better than me. She does not. She deserves her mom. You. But there's something about the social norming of being around other people that make you go, okay, I'm not bananas. What do you do? And what do you do? And amongst all that wisdom, you're going to find something that works for you. Awesome. And the second thing is I want you to call a counselor. I want you to meet with somebody. Because you got some bricks in your backpack from your childhood. It's going to make motherhood tough for you. That doesn't mean it's not going to be beautiful or amazing. It's just going to mean, cool, i got to learn some new skills that I don't have in my toolkit. Awesome. That's what a counselor is going to help you do. But all of these are steps towards building your amazing life. And you've got agency. You get to do that. I'm proud of you for, taking the call, for making the call, man. It's big time. You said some things out loud that are hard to say, and I honor you. It's really, really strong of you. 
And now the scary thing is going to build something new. I 100% believe in you. Stay on the line. We're going to hook you up with building an unanxious life and own your past, change your future, and all the couples questions for humans decks so you and your husband can have something to talk about besides, oh my gosh, I hate this, and the baby pooped again and again and again. I'm grateful for you, Caleb. 